<laughs> just anybody that can. <laughs> and meditation. Most people use meditation to get away from their emotions. So what they do is they use meditation to calm themselves. So they're feeling agitated or feeling distressed with their day-to-day -day life. And so what they do is they assign a part of their day-to-day -day life, maybe an hour or half an hour, where they can sit and just you know, sit in a nice, calm place where they can de deaden the noise of their mind, as they call it, and actually feel clear of emotion. That's not what I'm recommending to do. Use meditation, if you're going to use meditation, use meditation to connect with your emotion. So have the goal quite the opposite. Mm -hmm. So instead of using meditation to run away from that stress that you had today, run into it. Run into your stress. Yes. You follow me? Yeah. So go into that. Because there's a reason why stress was created in your life today. And you need to feel that. And you need to heal that inside of yourself, right? Now you can use meditation to access that. Whatever techniques you might want to use to access that are going to be beautiful from God's perspective. But the instant you make the choice inside of yourself to actually get away from your emotion, you are actually making a choice to get away from yourself and you're making a choice to get away from God. So all these people who believe meditation is leading them to God, it's just not happening. What it's doing is it's leading them to a place of the sixth sphere, which is the place of feeling that they are at one with the universe, and feeling that they are at one with each other, and feeling all of these different feelings of blankness, and sometimes it's a feeling of no desire, getting rid of desire, getting rid of passion so that they can do that. And while all that state may seem appealing at the moment with your emotions, because some of the emotions feel bad, right? In the end, what you want to do is be a completely emotional being, full of desire and passion, full of longing, and have no negative emotions that you experience. Wouldn't that be a better place then? Mm. To actually be full of passion, full of desire, full of longing, but every single passion, desire and longing be in harmony with divine love. Mm. 